Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Greenline Goddess Tarot. Let's see what's come out for you. Seven of Shells, Choice and Ambitions. Okay, this is your monthly reading for August and interesting month August. It tops and tails with a full moon. So we start with a full moon in Aquarius and we end with a full moon in Pisces. And so the image I was getting for you when I was tuning in was this sense of trying to fix something that was broken, just getting frustrated and going, you know what, this isn't going to work and just walking away. And so that's where I think this choice and ambitions is coming through. This is the seven of cups where it's like, okay, I'm going to look at what's in front of me, how I'm feeling about it, making maybe make some different choices about different choices in my life based on how I'm feeling. So yeah, that, I think that's an interesting one to come through. Let's see what's shifting and changing for you, Aries. So Let's see. And you, I mean, you could apply that to anything in your life. It could be how you're feeling about a person, how you're feeling about a situation, so a place. So what's shifting and changing for Aries? What's shifting and changing? So I really get this message, the power of choice is so important. And yeah, the power of choice. Okay, what's shifting and changing for Aries, way too much. They're probably saying a lot shifting and changing with the North Node in your sign. But let's see. Let's just get one message for Aries. Okay. So let's see. We have the Taurus High Priest and Cup King Scorpio Crown. Yeah. Exactly. The High Priest is the higher messages of what's going on, your higher self giving you messages about how you're feeling about something or someone in your world. And so you might be making some choices about what or who you want to connect to and how you want to commit to these things or people in your life. So I think there's this big kind of reevaluation of committing your time, your emotional energy. So how much emotional energy do you want to commit to uh, a person. It does feel like it's very connected to relationships, absolutely. Uh, but it doesn't have to necessarily be so. I mean, the high priest can be institutions. So that could be workplaces, schools, um, places of learning. Oh, that just completely flipped out. So we have as a situation, the full card. So this is where it's almost like you want to pre press the reset button and you're ready to leap into something new to kind of activate something new. And it's like I need to really kind of, I think you're really trusting your feelings with that, really just uh, potentially pressing reset on some emotional patterns within relationships as well. So let's see what else is coming through. So Aries, I wanted to let you know that this reading has so much to do with these, like these cups are coming in. So many decisions about how you're connecting to people or a person in particular. So yeah, interesting. I think this has got a lot to do with the South Node in your opposite sign, Libra. But yeah, let's see. There definitely could be some kind of very intense emotional connection or feeling that comes in that's guiding you here. So Aries, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch your three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you the fuller picture of what's going on for you. And it's interesting to see how each one resonates. And it, it works for if you know where if your Venus is in, in Aries as well. And this is a general reading, Aries. Just take what feels right. Leave the rest. If you do want to explore this further into the future, there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below. And that is through my Patreon channel that hosts the extended readings plus a whole heap of other premium content. So you might like to check that out as well. So you, are got, you have the star card in your conscious mind plus the high priestess. You are being so guided here. I really feel like your your um, crown chakra is wide open, even your third eye, but really feeling this crown energy so that the cosmic knowledge and the cosmic energy is really coming through and you're really understanding what that is. There's this um, sort of consciousness that is actually very connected to a yeah, the age of Aquarius. So I feel like this is very much connect. Something's opened inside of you or opening up when it's related to that. The full moon in Aquarius, is, this is going to come out around that time. We've got the Queen of Cups and it feels like it's opening you up to a collective wisdom or a, a 
collective consciousness, but it's also showing you the bigger picture with something inside your life. And it kind of makes sense. It shows you something really clearly, kind of suddenly something makes sense. Here we have the Hierophant. And so I think that this clarity suddenly puts things in a different perspective where you can really decide, yeah, what or who you are taking responsibility for and what you want to dedicate yourself to and what sort of commitments you want to um, connect or people you want to connect to. Temperance card, you're turning up as the Nine of Cups. So this actually could be very deeply fulfilling. I feel like it's um, this thing that some, you could be opening up to some new, we've got the King of Cups around you. So if this is a person around you, it could be a water sign, could be a like a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy around you. Perhaps there's someone around you that you're kind of feeling your way out about how you are feeling about this person. I guess I said that a lot. But the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So it might just be how you're, and the Sun card, like breakthroughs, um, how you're managing a situation or a relationship is could come in really, um, yeah, but there's a really, could be really important, but there's some sort of deep, connection or gut, wanting to go deep here, um, which is interesting. So we have as a situation the full card. Here we are. Press the reset, off on the next big adventure, opening to change and new possibilities. So travel, perhaps even for some of you, but the full card wants to hit the reset, crossed by the page of cups. What's telling you to do this? It might not necessarily be your heart because your heart is blocking it here or messages from some a loved one even that is saying don't do it or the, the, this might be an old pattern. Like I said, the, the heart goes, oh, you don't want to leap into that. But I really feel like with the star card is that you're being so strongly guided here. This is the North Star in your conscious mind. So something's been opened up here where it's like there's a there's something almost imposed upon your will that feels external to you that is guiding you. And so your heart is like, what what's going on here? Why are we connecting? Why are we going down this path? And uh, but yeah, you are kind of being really, really strongly guided with the star card and opening up to this new future that perhaps you had an, or a new a future energy which is from the higher consciousnesses that you potentially didn't even know about or were not connected to before. It's kind of fascinating the re, the energy I'm feeling here. At the base we have the Queen of Cups. So there might actually be somebody who is a water sign um, around you that you care for really, really deeply. Um, you're, it doesn't have to necessarily be a water sign. This is just somebody that you have some deep feelings for that, um, yeah, you do have a lot of, yeah, you care for quite a lot. So the Queen of Cups can be the mothering energy as well. It's about because we have the Queen and the King of Cups, we've got the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine uh, in around your emotions, how you're feeling. So deep down it's like come into your feelings, come into the Divine Feminine. How are you really feeling about something? Because there's almost like the page is like a message saying, trying to block you, but it feels sort of like young or immature, like it lacks experience in some way. Uh, and the queen is kind of more of a an experienced energy. So it's like if you go deep into like a part of you that is knows more or is wiser or just has kind of a depth of experience, and this could be going over lifetimes into past lives even, or there's someone around you that is like that, that has this kind of depth of experience and feeling. That's, But I really feel like this is more you, Aries. You're just going deep into those emotions, not just the surface level page, you know, like, don't do that. No, if you go deep in and really listen to what your feelings are, then that's what's going to guide you into taking action based on those feelings. So in the recent past, we've got the Hierophant. This Hierophant energy is really strong in the reading. And this is about commitments, absolutely. What you would like to dedicate yourself to, what you're taking responsibility for. And so I feel like, you know, perhaps there is something or someone that you were committed to or a connection that you're committed to, but it feels like 
strangely enough, you've been guided in a different direction and that's why your heart might be going, oh, no, no, don't do that. But this is like your soul energy wanting you to expand into new, I feel like there's these new new realms, like new consciousness. It's it's part new parts of you that are coming and connecting with you and it's kind of almost impossible to kind of argue against this energy. So, yeah, it's it's interesting because we have the temperance card, which is where this divine energy that you're connecting to, you're connecting to is encouraging you to dip your toe in. And so it feels like there's new waters, new emotional connections that you are kind of moving away from something that or someone that you were previously so connected and focused on. And that doesn't mean that connection is not still there, but it's like you're opening up to new things, new people, new connections here. And so this just feels very divinely like guided here that this is an important energy to happen. And so the uh, the emotions, the co emotional connections and the intuitive connections with new, these new people or new situations or places are starting to flow and it feels like it's shifting and changing like there's an, a shifting and changing emotional landscape happening here, which is why the Cup King actually likes to manage He's the divine masculine energy wants to manage the emotions because it's like I need to find a stable place amongst this kind of reordering of what's going on here. So, but you're presenting us the nine of cups. Like look at this bottom line, the nine of cups, the queen of cups and the sun. You know, this is happiness, breakthroughs, emotional breakthroughs, something that's feeling really deeply fulfilling here, this opening up on an emotional level on your heart space, into your heart space, into your feelings is diving deep into something deep, really fulfilling. And so, yes, this could be a new relationship or it could be a whole new set of experiences. It could be a whole new friends or a different experience. It could be a research project. It could be all sorts of things. It could be connecting to a place, a new career. But there's just something that you are really opening up to here, Aries, and so we have the energy surrounding you. No surprise, the two of wands. This is initiating an, new paths, new directions, and taking those first initial steps into these new new connections, this new emotional realm. And the two of wands is the doing it, the the start, the taking that first step and actually initiating because it's something that you're wanting here, which is actually really nice. So it feels kind of exciting, but um, at the same time, it's exciting, but scary, but exciting. So we have as your hopes and fears, the King of Cups. And again, we're seeing that this opening feels like something bigger than you. And the King of Cups is definitely got the stable place amongst all these emotions that are going on and knowing that there is an ocean underneath the King of Cups, there's this depth of feeling that is yet to be explored. So it really feels like, you know, there's just so much more out there. And so this could be a person around you that you actually have a very intense emotional connection with. Maybe there is somebody that you are thinking about here or something. So the King of Cups can, yeah, it's just wanting to dive in deep. So we have as an outcome the Magician, the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So it's kind of interesting because this is where I feel like your head steps in and goes, hey, <laughs> let's look at what's in front of you. What is the tangible opportunity that lies in front of you here that we're seeing that you can move into? Because a lot of this is about what's going on with your feelings and how guided you are. But the Magician is going, okay, how is this going to work? How am I going to work, use what is around me in my world, the different elements in my world to make this work, to make the most of this opportunity, to start the opportunity and make it into a tangible reality? And so it's almost like you need to get your head involved here with this King of Swords. This is like um, a very rational and even detached, emotionally detached energy of, okay, what needs to happen here to organize this, to start it, to get it all happening. So it's like this whole world of emotions here, these ocean of emotions. But then it's like in order to actually move forward and get things happening, you have to go into this different space. And so it could be some really exciting new 
career opportunities coming in for some of you here because we're seeing something tangible, but there's a meeting perhaps with somebody here, the King of Swords, around making this a tangible opportunity. How can it happen with the magician? I'm really consciously aware that this is something I want to happen now. Perhaps there's a strategy or a planning meeting or some decisions need to be made about this. But yeah, it's um, definitely about making some tangible choices in your life that um, could even be quite ambitious. So we have as an overall energy the sun, and this is clarity, breakthroughs, revitalization, happiness. It's really, really this sense of, yeah, I feel like just I just get this sense of energy, vitality, joy. Uh, there really is like the sun is shining on you and through you and there's more light that you're expressing into the world through this connection of the opening to the higher consciousnesses and then letting that process down through you and dipping into the new emotional waters and making some tangible decisions based on that, based on what's around you. And so this might feel a little bit like you're breaking through a wall of some sort where there's been a huge block and you haven't been able to kind of open up in this way. It feels very new and very different. It feels like there's parts of you from uh, different realms that are coming in to connect to you, if that makes any sense. So let's pull an affirmation card, but it's this very beautiful opening, opening of new experiences, opening of vitality, op re-energizing. So absolutely beautiful. It says, I claim my own power, this is your affirmation card, and I lovingly create my own reality. Fantastic. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. And that's what I feel like there, there's this greater understanding that's coming here, that's coming through and opening you up to all these new possibilities. So, yeah, very beautiful. Okay, and it's this kind of conscious awareness that you are creating your reality here and so working with that consciously. Okay, let's see. We have the peace symbol coming through. Okay, beautiful. So peace and healing. There is the higher octave of being able to feel more hopeful, to find the peace and healing within a situation and that may have been why you were shutting off your heart or not open to this in the first place. But there really is an opportunity to perhaps even, like I said, this opening up feels quite peaceful. There, there's this lovely energy of also being quite independent and standing on your own two feet with this. You're doing your own inner work, your own inner healing and, and making your own decisions and choices around everything. So there's kind of like a renewed independence that's coming through with this as well. And so it might feel a little bit like you're moving away from somebody that you perhaps you are more codependent on or rely upon, reliant upon. But that's because this new energy is asking you to work with it in an independent way. So, yeah. So some very, very um, important decisions to be making and plans and coming up for you, Aries. And I feel like it's just this new terrain that you're stepping into, but it feels so expansive, like a very beautiful personal expansion that's coming in here. So that's your reading. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now where we're going to see where this is going because this King of Swords is not messing around. He's making decisions, choices, uh, something tangible can come out of this. So let's see what that is, uh, what's going on here and where this is all going in the future, the future, the near future and the future beyond. What other energies or things do you need to know about? Any further clarification? What's the best way to work with this energy? We're just going to explore this further into the future and deeper. So that's all in the extended reading. Love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below and I usually pin the link to the comments as well and if this is where we're leaving each other Aries I think this is a fascinating reading for you guys and I think it's going to feel like this beautiful blooming and opening up which is and blossoming which is actually absolutely beautiful it's almost like you're just 
it's discovering. It's a world of discovery, but yes, you're opening up externally to new things, but it's a world of discovery of you and how you're emotionally responding to things as well. So yeah, I think it's a very beautiful reading. I think it's very connected to the North Node being in your sign. This is where your soul is guiding you. This is what we want to learn next. And yeah, it's a beautiful reading, Aries. I really do love it. I feel this beautiful opening of the heart that comes in with it. So that's it. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care.